Hi, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be doing a quick video about this Acara water leak sensor. It's a Zigbee sensor. You can pair it with the Acara hub. Um, we have an M2 Acara hub, or in our case, what we're actually going to do is pair it directly with Home Assistant through the uh, SkyConnect Zigbee um, dongle that we have. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, let's go ahead and get this unboxed. Let's open this guy up and pull it out. And we have the device and there's a little pamphlet in here. Nothing that we actually need. So that can go in the garbage and the device Let me show it to you quickly. Just a little water leak sensor has a button right here and there's two metal um, screws in the back that when the water touches those, it completes the circuit and that's how it's detecting the water. I'll go ahead and show you how we get this connected and how we use it. And we'll show you how it works for us in our smart home. All right, we're gonna add the device now into Home Assistant. So you go into the devices and services and we can just go down to the Zigbee and go to the devices and add the Zigbee device. So I'm going to click the button and then we're going to press this middle button until it blinks. It's blinking. And then immediately it finds it and we can name it whatever we want. In this instance, we're going to name it kitchen sink leak sensor. And we're going to put it in the kitchen area. And we're ready to use, go back out of here. And then I'm going to go into the device and just show you um, how quickly it responds and how easy this is. So you can see at the top, it's dry. So I'm going to grab some water. So I got some water. I'm just going to place it in a small bowl here to simulate what it'd be like if we had a leak. And I'm going to go ahead and put some water in here. And you can see immediately it turns wet. Just a little shake. Should be able to get it back to a dry status pretty quickly. And there we go. Detected dry. So it took a couple seconds there, but not too long. Um, just going to go ahead and Drop it back in here so you can see how quickly, you know, within a couple seconds. And I'm not going to do anything else. I'm just going to hold it out and we'll see here about how long there took about, what, 12 seconds from when I initially placed it in until it was dry. So definitely not 12 seconds of time to get the response. Just a matter of a couple seconds, but that's how quickly and easily it responds. So we can go ahead and add an automation so that this can trigger um, the water shutoff valve once we have that installed or if we want alerts which is another thing um, I have set up our alerts so that we know whenever one of these goes to a wet status we can get the alert on our phone I mean have a trigger based on which device it is so it can tell you which device is wet and um, have that immediate feedback you can do all kinds of things uh, you know turning on lights or whatever else you want um, such as the uh, Google announcements or uh, the Amazon Assistant announcements. You can find some of those other automations in, in other videos. So don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss those. My final thoughts here, I wanted to let you know that it seems to be a really great device. Uh, a lot of times you can find it on sale for about $14 each. And um, people, you know, tell me it costs a lot once you add up all the devices that, that you have, um, you know, 14 bucks a pop. But if you add that up and compare that to the cost of just one um, water leak in your house that you didn't know about, definitely very, very good value there. Um, like I said, coupling that with uh, the water shutoff valve or some other automations makes a lot of sense and it could save you tons of money, tons of headaches and, and time as well. So I definitely recommend this. I'll have a link in the description below. So feel free to use that link to purchase the Acara water leak sensor.